Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing about smoking and its complications. First and foremost, let me introduce chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is also known as COPD. COPD is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. The common symptoms of COPD are chronic cough, dyspnea, sinusitis, increase in mucus secretion, and so on. COPD can be diagnosed by initiating a spirometry test, also well known as PFT. The advantages of the PFT test are it is easy and painless that can measure lung function and capacity efficiently. In order to perform this test, the patient has to exit as fastly as possible into a tube connected to the spirometer. Next is the pathophysiology of COPD. It causes damage to the airways and tiny sacs, coughing with mucus and breathing difficulties. COPD severity is divided into several stages according to DOLD criteria. FEV1 is the amount of air you can force from your lungs in one second, which can be measured during a spirometry test. According to GOLD criteria, if the FE1 is more than 80%, then it falls under grade 1 COPD. The categorization goes until grade 4, where the FEV value is less than 30%. Usually, patients with mild COPD will experience shortness of breath and ongoing cough. Meanwhile, patients with moderate COPD will have symptoms like shortness of breath during physical activities, coughing, and an increase in mucus production. When COPD gets severe, the symptoms get worse. The patient will be extremely fatigued, experience tightness of chest, and confusion or forgetfulness. Patients who are in stage 4, COPD will have all the common symptoms and additionally wheezing while breathing. COPD can be treated using a short-acting bronchodilators like beta to agonist. Bronchodilators are drugs that relax and widen the airways. In severe cases, the delivery of oxygen gas to the lungs is necessary. Oxygen therapy improves the quality of life of COPD patients. Some only use it during physical activities or while sleeping, meanwhile some use oxygen all the time. Next, I'm going to talk about emphysema. It is a lung condition that causes shortness of breath. The alveoli are damaged over time. It becomes weaker and ruptures, creating larger airspace instead of many small ones. The causes of emphysema are tobacco smoke, marijuana smoke, air pollution, chemical fumes, and dust. Moving on to chronic bronchitis, it is a long-term inflammation of the bronchi and common among smokers. They are more likely to get lung infections. People who smoke also have a high risk of getting lung cancer. Cancer forms in tissue of the lungs and usually in the cells that line the air passages. According to Ministry of Health of Malaysia, the prevalence of smoking is high in Malaysia. According to data, more than 90% of male cancer patients have a significant smoking history. The risk of lung cancer increases with the length of time and number of cigarettes smoked. Not only that, people who have never smoked before also can suffer from lung cancer. The common symptoms of lung cancer are frequent coughing, chest pain, shortness of breath, and so on. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.